It's kind of dumb, yes. It's just quite dumb indeed. Oh, absolutely foolish. He let the Dorseys into the city, and he said he acted alone. Well done, Red Hats. Thank hey, you. Maybe thank you. I made it sound like I could get you into the back, but I can't without Mr. Bright. Uh, so lies. Go talk to him. Tell him oh, him okay, that's, that's not so bad then. I'm sure, he'll be open to a deal. Uh, don't mention me though. Ah, uh, too bad. I'm gonna drag you into this because that's the truth. So, uh, you were part of this. Why would I lie about you not being a part of it? It's all thanks to you, Charlie Knows. Why don't you go look and find Why out? would you be like that to your good pal, Charlie? All right, all right. I'll head to the machine shop and clear up any mess you left. Oh. Nothing but a favor between friends. Hey. You should go on upstairs and talk Red, to you want to join Mike? See you later, Red Hats. I guess you're not the one to join. Okay. Yeah, you go clean up my mess. Whatever. I don't care. Yes. That he... Indeed, it's clear. Uh, Rangers. Ooh. Hello, what is all this about? All this fanciness of first person I view. You had a little talk with McTavish, and I want you to know him as a Oh, how, how did you know this? This just happened like ten minutes ago. He served me well. But well, he's always been an idiot. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? Oh, why? Why would you give us the option? To yes, whatever. If things go south, we can always attack. Where I go? I guess, but why? What a note from you to McTavish, ordering him to help the Dorseys. That means you knew his plan. Wonder what Daisy do with that info? Is that like blackmailing him? I don't want to do that. How do you know what McTavish told us? Yeah. Okay. Yo, how do you know? In my profession. You can't be too trusting with new friends. I uh, had you follow. We're friends? It won't happen again. Wow. Seems we've been making a lot of us lately. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that means you knew this plan. What did Daisy do with that info? Yeah, would she. Like, she wants us to kill you or something? Are you suggesting not a threat? Some kind of deal? I mean, I know it sounds like a threat, but still, it's not a threat. I'm not admitting I know anything about Delgado, but what did you have in mind? Uh, you give us our boy Delgado. Hand over Delgado, and we'll tell Daisy it was all a misunderstanding. We'll also tell her McTavish acted on his own. Just between friends, of course. <laughs> Why are we acting like this is so sinister? It's getting into character. I am now, uh... You can take Delgado. Part of the whatever this is. You in the back. And I tell you what, because you've been so reasonable. Yep. I'll do you one more favor. Ah, favor between friends. Got it. Need to staff the armory at your HQ. Well, I just so happen to know a few guys who know about guns. Ooh. Consider it staffed. What do you say? Hmm, I could have bartered, but we need two more levels in our barter to meet the requirement. Yeah, and I can't come back to this. It's so not fair. I want to do everything. You're right, but I'm not the one who grabbed it. Tough so choices. Idiot. After that, what was I going to do? Tell him no hard feelings and let him walk? Daisy I don't know. Busting down my doors within the hour. So, I just kept him on ice. Hoping the solution would come along, and voila, it did. At least I hope it did. Depends on if you're going to accept my offer or not. So? Hmm. Having our armory staffed with career criminals isn't going to help our reputation. Oh, actually, this sounds kind of bad. Isn't he going to be pissed? It's a package deal, right? You take Delgado and my... Oh, no, 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 no. Sounds uh, yes, that is where we have the option to kill him. Okay, well... All right, fine, we'll take them both. Coward. You just want the loot, of course I do. Delgado's in the back, my crew let you... Okay. Go get him. Thanks. You'll have a fully staffed armory by the time you get back Oh, yeah, I forgot about that all the... Right. Pleasure doing business with you, Ranger. All that matters is getting Delgado out of here. 
Old times that is. It's that I'm the General Vargas of the group. The, the, the current situation. Lipinski, who's keeping watch of the gate? Wait, that's who Lipinski is, right? Because I figure you'd be I do not care. Sweet with him in chains, or a bullet hole in his head. But no, what's a damsel like me to think? I do not care what you think, Lupinski. First, Rigo helps out the Dorseys. Then he locks up a marshal. Your law keepers, right? Like us? Okay, well, the first part is wrong. Second part, eh, kind of, but it's kind of like a gray area kind of thing. You wouldn't understand. You're just a marshal. Us rangers understand it. So if you plan to shoot them, you'll have to shoot me too. I think you know how that'll go over with the families. This family thing sounds really important, and I killed a bunch of them. Things like that uh, matter for another day. You wouldn't want to get the little lady hurt. Well, I mean, do you want to get the little later? You just don't do anything. Just, just walk out or something. Oh, uh, we already we already found the traitor. It was McTavish, not Brigo. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, or maybe Brigo. There is no other maybe. We've all seen that happen before. Actually, that's a good point. It doesn't have to go down like this, fellas. Okay, well that's two more from the Shut the fuck from our up, squad. Man. It's going down like this. Sounds Whether like everyone's on board to defend Brigo. It's gonna be blood. So whose side are you on? You really wanna piss off the sheriff? For the sake of that rat, Brigo? Sorry, Lipinski. Yes, sorry, Lipinski. If you want to brigo, you'll have to go through us. You know, I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, what? Dude, that's kind of my stomp. You kind of baited me into this fight. But you're all going to lose anyways. Unless, there is no one less. Three, two. Let's count. Damn, you'd think. Right. This guy's tough. That's tough enough. Ooh, I don't get how this works. So it's freeze better than bullets against humans and stuff like that. Well, with her observation with that shop. And now here. It, well, I guess we'll find out sooner or later. I mean, that was only twice you did it. I guess it makes sense to take cover then shoot. Like one of the guys that are down. Damn it! So close, yes. It did not accomplish this thing. Okay, well, Quan can fix up my mess, I guess. But that guy's almost dead. Maybe Tomcat can, like, charge into him or something. I don't want to waste a turn just not killing anybody who isn't above 1 HP. That makes sense. Crash! Get over here! Come on, Crash! Take him out! Take him out! 37, 37. Out of range. Range. That's one over there. But that's 37. It's all ambush, right? Any of them come closer, they'll get ambushed. Don't come closer to me. Okay. Lucia, Lucia, Lucia. Time to die for our car. What? I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Enemy sir. What are you doing? You Wait. What? What are you talking? <laughs> Oh, I get it. They're on our team, so now they're... That's where they're going out. But, I mean, it's kind of dumb. Yes. It's just quite dumb indeed. Oh, absolutely foolish of them to go after the civilians and not the main threat. Cheers. Cheers, I. Tempest. Oh, man. The turns are... Oh, oh, okay. Well, at least they get turns, right? Right. Friendly turns. And help. What is going on there? Okay, weird. There's like, what, three guys left or something? One. There's Tomcat. Kill him, Tomcat. Oh, Tomcat missed. He's in front of you. Up and at him, Lucia. 
29%. See. Out of range. Wow, I was. Now it is my turn. Hmm. That one makes sense, because the C kind of messed that up. Oh, there's. Wait, there's. One, two, three. Four. There was five before, now there's four. Okay. Okay. These NPCs are living by a thread. Oh. So this Frost doing it. Is Frost even a debuff in this game? Or is it just an effect? Like a looking special effect kind of thing. One, two, three, four. Okay. Where are you going? Just die! Oh, are they gonna die to NPC? <laughs> oh no, you guys gonna lose NPCs? Oh, uh, looks like it. Wow. Oh, there's still that one guy. Okay, there's still one. There's still one. That's fine. Just gotta annihilate him this turn. Unless someone from the friendly side can do it. No, hello, anybody? Anybody? No? Tomcat, you do it? You have the same life bar color as them. Nah, you can't do it. Uh, do not worry, Tomcat, I... We'll deliver the final blow. Will you now? Awfully far. Not far enough. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's get our man Brygo and get the hell out of here. Brygo? Delgado! Right, sure, whatever. Get the hell out of my sight, Delgado. This clean cut marshal looks like he's in his mid 30s. His honest, open face. Gives him the appearance of a man in the prime of life. Hey, Delgado. Bet you thought Daisy oh. forgot all about you. Oh, one knows. I figured anyone coming for me would have to shoot their way in. We I did! Pass Brygo's crew. We are Brygo's crew. Found out that McTavish was working with the Dorseys, and we cut a deal with Brygo. McTavish? <laughs> that son of a bitch. Good. Good for you. You know, I had a feeling it was one of Brygo's people. Hmm. Did they hurt you at all? No. Got a piss bucket there or something, much. right? Though, after all this, I'm starting to think maybe I should have known better. And don't tell my wife I said that. Well, what are you going to pay me to keep quiet? <laughs> Quan, always the kidder. Um, you are kidding, right? <laughs> Don't worry, Delgado. Your secrets are safe with me. Not me! I've been keeping an eye on Brigo for a while. He's a survivor. Likes to play both sides to make sure he always wins. After the Dorsey raid, I started asking questions about the club. Well... I Why? Why would you do that? Too close to the truth. They grabbed me, dragged me in here, and locked the door took my weapon and everything. Good thing you came along. Head for the door when you're ready. Get the hell out of here. Thanks again. Hey, no problem. So all uh, that's left is a report to Daisy. Yeah, Brago wasn't responsible for the Dorsey attack. McTavish was the real traitor. Bullshit. McTavish took the fall for his boss. Ain't no way Brago isn't balls deep in this mess, no matter what he says. Damn. And when what you about the part where you killed that fat ass Lipinski? Whoa. He knew you'd let Brago off the hook, didn't he? Probably well, tried to stop you so you It's corrupt. Him. Come on, let me see it. Do you even know? She probably knows. What if she is a part of the corruption? Well, that changes everything. I mean, he was looking for a fight, so we couldn't stand by. Brago and his thugs count as people now? Well, not... I, I, I didn't mean to say them. I meant to say, like, the civilians and stuff like that. Down. Real clear. Easy you pissed. Now, Daisy. Damn, Quan, are you ever going to be in the same room you don't wanna... as us? Shut your hole, Quan. <laughs> don't hey, you heard Quan? You he, he, was in the other, he was in the other room saying all that stuff not about you. He was an idiot, but he was still a marshal. We're done here. I'll find some other way to take down your pal Brago, and it won't include you. Well, of course it wouldn't. 
This. No, it won't. You know where to find the door. Damn, she's really pissed. Okay, fine. Screw you. Screw the marshals. All you corrupt you sons of guns. Ah. Oh, what's this? Hello, Rangers. Mm -hmm. Talking box. This is Gideon Reyes. I'm addressing Reyes. you from Broadmoor Heights. The Patriarch has made it known that you are in need of logistical support. I can happily make a few calls, speak to a few people. In exchange, I'd like to ask that you hear me out on a proposition. It's not a thing I really do, this ransoming of aid. But these are unusual circumstances, and Colorado Springs' future hangs in the metaphorical balance. I wouldn't be asking for such an exchange if I wasn't desperate. We have the church in Broadmoor Heights. Broadmoor Heights. To let you through. Someone raised Gideon Reyes. Got it. Where the hell's Broadmoor Heights, though? Probably in Colorado. What's this? Ooh. Ellie type note. And made night costume. A costume for knights like me. Handmade wizard costume, like a hole. This is weird. Is it? Yes. Who are these people? I'm looking for Jody Bell. She's usually around here, bleeding out or something. Have you seen her? Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess you're part of that. Cannons buying you all the good gear. Yeah. I guess. Sure. Whatever. I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. I remember that. Strong if they'd listen to me. Too bad. I guess. Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. Listening. After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody <laughs> could. Oh, absolutely foolish. Mechanical brood. That is something that I would never do. Lost family to synths. And I formed a posse, decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ, then heard a feud headed Since. east of here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. Well, yeah, That's you might hear come in. Innocent and people, you know. The marshals to shoot us on Whoa. sight. I stepped inside the city limits again. Well, that's not like we're uh, really on the good side of things over there, right? Yeah, pretty so much. Might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Cash, you say? Well, do we really need the money? Hmm. I mean, why did Daisy ban you from hunting in Colorado Springs? Town and tried to take it out quietly, but there was a snafu and we had to open fire. Shot up the. That means a mistake. An accident. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the. Yeah, this guy's like really. Like we were the problem and sent us packing. Ah, uh, well. Hey now, that's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. Ooh, you gonna you gonna just kill her like that in front of all the marshals? That's kind of messed up, dude. Are weird that. So it's against the Dorseys, not against each other. Rangers and Mar- Ah, well... Yes. The Marshals have. Eleven is a stone killer. Eleven? Before it kills again. Like from... Stranger Things. Comrades. Oh, uh, well, killing this October 11 help us find others. All since got a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it work. Okay, so all this dude needs is a head or something. That should be easy. It's a robot. It's like, uh, just like, just, like, just popping out a Jeez. piece of your... You're not one of those, are you? No. Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. They have feelings. Bullshit. Right, it's a That's lie. A trick you. Synths are just top grade robots. What makes it's like them a... dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. 
And if you does that mean? Too long, what does that mean? What does that mean? was a place. Pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. Again? What? It's Not happened much. before? Wow. We Isn't that the whole part of Wasteland 2? I don't remember. To talk. Okay, so all I have to do is just end this robot. Got it. It's cool. It's like we're hunting. Yes, it's like we are hunting it. We are now on the hunt. <laughs> Add it to your list. Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. It's the... I mean... Whatever. Oh, yeah, we'll whatever. Here until you bring back its head. Sure Just thing. Downtown somewhere. You'll downtown Colorado Springs. Static, on your radio. static my radio as a beacon. Homing Swap. beacon. Tracker. Sure. Got it. 